and we're back with more Caterpillar V12 uh, content. In this episode, we're taking the flywheel off. There wasn't a whole lot to it. Don't drop it on your toes and all that. Anyway, take a look and enjoy. Right, and uh, I think we have to do something before we can take it off, right? Yep, take the bolt, so away. Uh, okay, and this is a 9 16 bolt, so we put a washer around it. A big washer. A big washer. This is actually from a, a radius arm from a car. Oh, okay. You see it's nice and thick and strong. Mm -hmm. It's actually supposed to, if we didn't bend it that way, it's supposed to be that way. And then we get this around here, so... And then yeah, we can put the hook through there, and, and I think can, that'll hold it. We can get that away. That rope. That rope was rated for 250 pounds, so we got it doubled up, so it should hold 500 pounds. Hopefully that's enough to hold the flywheel, I think it is. How much do you think this flywheel weighs? I don't know. Maybe we can, uh, Wait. We can look it up. Yeah. I, I was thinking of buying one of those things. There's a, there's things that you can put on the crane, and then you can, you know, you can. It goes in the middle of the chain, and then it'll tell you the weight. Okay. It would be interesting, right, to get to, to weigh some of these parts. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, we got the engine mostly apart. We just have to get, get the flywheel off, and then I think this whole housing. You see, there's a. Yeah. These are two separate pieces. Yeah. This whole front piece so this whole piece can come off that way we just have just an engine block yeah, this thing is heavy. you got to push on it don't let it slip off okay if it's not going on then turn it a little bit I think it's going all right Yep, it's going. Yep. I think a little more. I don't think it's out all the way yet. Think it is now? I think it is now, yes. Oh my god! I'll just set this here. Oh, oh get the washer. And uh, it's best not to put it, don't put it on the ground because then it'll be uh, dirty. Okay, I put it on there. Yeah. I'll get a, I'll get something to put them in so that way we don't get them all dirty. Ready for the next one? God, I can't get the socket back on. I think it's on, right? Okay. Just, it doesn't go over the washer, you see? Maybe a little bit more? Yep, it's out now. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I'm able to do it. Yeah, you're able to do it. You wanna do another one? Yeah. We'll just keep going. And I'll remember to leave one. Yeah, we'll leave one. That way it doesn't fall off. And then uh, when, when we're down to the last one, we'll uh, lift up the cherry picker a little bit. Okay. And then uh, get some, make sure that it can fall on our toes. What? Make sure that the flywheel can fall on our toes. Right. I got two of this and a sound Oh, All right, it's out. I saw a wizard and a salamander. All right, let me, I'll stop the video and then we'll do the rest of them and we can video again when we're ready to take it off. How about that? Okay. Is up? Yep, you want to crank it? Crank what? Crank, crank it up, yeah. Uh, I think like that is okay for now. And now? Get, I like how you got it situated so that way actually you can go up a little bit more, right? So you 
good thing. Now it's starting to build tension. Yeah. So now we take the last one. Yeah. Can you do it uh, and have your legs on, on this side? That way if it, uh, if it swings a little bit. I don't think it's going to come out, but just in case. Okay. You never want to have your feet underneath something that might fall, right? Like, especially when it's a heavy thing. Right. So like this, or like, I can have it like this. Yeah, that would be okay. See, then it can never fall on you. Right. Okay. Yep, and it might not fall off at all. All right, let's see. Hopefully the rope is not gonna break. Yep, it's coming off, you see? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes! <clears throat> I think what we need to do is uh, just pull away from it. We should buy a, a stand. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, it's moving, all right. All right, there you go. It's off. We got it! That, that went well, huh? Uh-huh. And it didn't fall. Oh my god, look! A wasp nest! Oh, <laughs> there's a wasp nest behind it. Oh wow. Be careful, remember not to get under this even if it's hanging like this. I just, I don't know if this rope is... Uh... Oh look, you see there's a little pin in it here, so mm -hmm. we have to make sure when we put it back, the thing that pinned, I bet there will be a hole in the flywheel on the same point. So we have to make sure that we uh, we put it back in that place. Hmm. Yep, I see the hole right here. Oh, yeah. See, there's a hole there. So when we put it back, we have to make sure. Otherwise, you smush that pin. I think that might be for the balancing. I think this might be a weight. You know, if it's if the flywheel is out of balance, it'll shake like crazy, right? Right. So I think they probably have a weight here to uh, to balance it, because you see, there's different places where you can put it. Right. All right, let's. Uh, so what can we take off now? <clears throat> I think first we'll uh, we'll uh, put this in a safe place, and then uh, we'll figure out what's. I think the whole flywheel housing can come off. Come off yeah, next. Yeah, we can just take this out. Oh. All right, here we go. We're gonna. Yeah, we're taking a video. So we got the flywheel off. So now we're gonna do the the back cover. Um, there's a bunch of bolts over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then three, there's uh, two. yeah. And then there's uh, there's four more smaller ones here. Yeah. And then we we pried on it a little bit, and then found a little Easter egg. Actually, you have to take these covers off, and then there's more bolts behind the cover. So I fried on it a little bit and it wasn't moving, so I realized, well, there's gotta, gotta be another bolt somewhere, so... The manual says to take the seal off first, but I think you can just, uh, you know, this seal is just kind of squeezing the, the crankshaft there. So I think we can get it off. Because you need a special tool anyway to get the seal out. And so if you want to replace just the seal without taking the crankshaft, I mean, the bell housing off then uh, it's nice to have the special tool but in this case we're going to take it apart anyway and then the machine shop can probably take the take that uh, that piece off the crankshaft but we'll have to get the tool to install the new seal properly yeah it's starting to get heavy i think there's already tension on there all right let's see if we can uh, get this thing to separate Put some gentle pressure on it there. Yep, it's separating. There we go. I think it's off now. I think it's just about off. Hang on, Nigel. Let, hang on, just wait for a minute. Look, you want to pry on it? You want to try it? Yeah. I would stand on the other side of the crowbar yeah. because now you're in your own way. I would stand on this side of the crowbar. I think what? I don't know what you mean. 
where am I pointing? Over here, right? So if you stand over there and then push the crowbar instead of pulling it. Let's turn it around, flip it. Yeah, there you go. Is it working or are you still hitting the... Let's see if we can, can we move this? It's still stuck a little bit? Yeah. Oh. So it's still stuck a little bit. We got it up for a little bit. Mom, this thing is in my way. Yeah, I see it. I don't think you should lift up on it any higher. If it's already tight, then uh, no, no, it's not real tight. It's okay. Let me give it a try. Let's see. There we go. Mm, now it's off. That too did it. Yeah, that sure did it. It's off. I was actually moving the engine. Did you see it? The engine was sliding on the blocks. That's yeah. how hard I pushed. <laughs> that means the engine is getting lighter, taking more heavy pieces off of it. All right, there we go. You want to lift it up more? See if you can get it off the ground. Now we got it off. Seth, can you move back a little bit? Move back a little bit. There we go. Oh, you got the yogurt tubs? Okay. Oh, but no lids? Oh. Okay, well, we'll get the lids later. Don't stand uh, next to it in case the... If the rope snaps, then uh, it might tip over. Well, I couldn't find any. There's the transfers. Okay, well, we'll look for them later. So I just thought I better be quick. I better be too fast quick. Yeah, that's okay. All right, there you go. Yeah, it's off the ground. We got it off the ground. All right, well, we'll go and move this thing. And then uh, then I think we need to, you're already here, Tony. And then I think we need to turn the engine up. Well, no, we might be able to take the, the lifters out. And after that, I think we need to turn the engine upside down so we can get the crankshaft out. Right. Uh, so should we get to the lifters after we move that? We first move, uh, move the bell housing out of the way and then we'll do the lifters. There we go.